Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Mother Nature will see you dead, scientists gravely warn. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK Today. Yellowstone supervolcano is a deadly force to be reckoned with and is evidence of Mother Nature's dark side. This is what a prominent scientist has warned. Yellowstone National Park, home of one of the deadliest and biggest volcanoes on the surface of our Earth. Yellowstone's volcano last major eruptions occurred respectively 640,000 years ago, 1.2 million and 2.1 million years ago, and there was a small eruption just 70,000 years ago. But the supervolcano system is far from being asleep, and scientists monitoring Yellowstone predict another eruption will occur in the future. And looking at the equally beautiful, terrifying Yellowstone landscape, one scientist has reminded people of how dangerous it is, and that scientist is astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, known for presenting the science series Cosmos, shared online a photo of Yellowstone National Park, showcasing one of the park's areas inhospitable to life. The photo shows a group of dead and barren trees in a dry plain, devoid of any green plants or flora. And according to, De, uh, to uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the Yellowstone volcano photo is evidence nature is not always the naturing and supportive force is believed to be. He wrote, the stark beauty of Yellowstone Park atop a dormant supervolcano. And remi a reminder that not all of our planet is a haven for life. Across many parts of Earth's surface, Mother Nature will just as soon see you dead, he says. But just how deadly is Yellowstone, and is it truly a force of destruction bidding its time under the United States? According to the U.S. Geological Survey, a future Yellowstone super eruption would be absolutely catastrophic on a regional and also, of course, a global scale. In short term, a Yellowstone eruption would spew incredible amounts of ash and volcano material across the entire United States, and in turn, this will have a profound impact on global climate patterns for years and even decades in the future. The USGS said the surrounding states of Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming would be affected, as well as other places in the United States, Canada, and the world. Such eruptions usually far form calderas, broad volcanic depressions created as the ground surface collapses as a result of withdrawal of partially molten rock, the magma below it. Quote, fortunately, the chances of this sort of eruption at Yellowstone are exceedingly small in the next few thousand years, end quote. Yellowstone Volcano is continuously monitored by Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, the YVO. That's a branch of the United States Geological Survey. The YVO closely watches the volcano for signs of activity, volcanic, hydrothermal, and seismic across National Park. One of the biggest indicators of Activity at Yellowstone is ground deformation, which could be an indicator of molten rock entering Yellowstone's magma chamber. And there is deformation. There's also gas emissions, and there's also quakes. And uh, just uh, yesterday, uh, Old Faithful had a 3.1 quake, and you can see one of my past videos on that from yesterday. So the USGS said normal activity for Yellowstone includes extensive seismicity, periods of uplift and subsidence of the caldera, and intermittent changes to hydrothermal features at the surface. They say there are usually over a thousand earthquakes per year at Yellowstone. About 40% of the earthquakes every year are associated with swarms. The beautiful hydrothermal features in the park, geysers, hot springs, mud spots, etc. The uplift, the subsidence, and many of the earthquakes are caused by the movements of the hydrothermal and or even the magmatic fluids. The hydrothermal fluids are produced and maintained by the partially liquid magma chamber beneath the park. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse 
and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.